what was the last <clears throat> month like for you just kind of going through what you went through and trying to get back out there this week? Uh, yeah, it's been a little uh, chaotic, obviously. Like, I was in the hospital for two nights, um, basically three days, so with the infection and then got back. And then it kind of took me a while to, for my arm to start feeling better again, too, because it was just pretty sore. Uh, but, yeah, I was just super happy to be out on the field again and just playing football and not having to deal with, like, that stuff. Like, it was just completely random, no idea. But it was just it was, I was just really happy to be out there and playing football again. Um, my arm just got really, really sore out of nowhere. Um, and then like, I was still planning on playing. And then on Saturday morning, like it was just, uh, cause I got on antibiotics on Friday and then by Saturday morning, it still wasn't better. So I was still kind of planning on playing on the game against Michigan. But then Saturday morning I told the doctors, I was like, I still can't move my arm. And they're like, okay, you need to go to the hospital, get that checked out. So yeah, then it was just all kind of chaos. It was just weird and something I had never dealt with obviously before so but yeah I'm back now so I was really happy to be on the field again I think the the uh it was like bursitis in the elbow and then that just got infected so it was just part of it I guess I don't know it was just a really weird crazy thing so I'm just happy I'm back Did you drop any weight um, uh, maybe a little bit when I was in the hospital, but by the time I had gotten out, like I was eating fine. And by the time I was practicing again, I was at the same weight. So, and I played at Michigan at 225. So I didn't lose any weight, um, uh, from, or when I played at, uh, Northwestern, sorry, I was at 225. So I didn't lose any weight, uh, overall. Oh, what do you notice from your guys in your absence, the guys who filled in and got more opportunity? Yeah, I mean, like, obviously the linebacker guys, like, we have rotated a ton. So there's been a lot of guys that have gotten a lot of reps this year. So they did a, they did a great job um, filling in. And I was just, like, watching the Illinois game especially was so fun to watch because there was a lot of guys that played, played up really good. Like, and Nick stepped up and he played a lot of snaps and he played really, really good against Illinois, I thought. So it was really fun to see him running around and having fun. So, uh, and then obviously Mackay, John, Javen, like there's so many guys that are playing right now, kind of that off the ball linebacker spot. So it was fun to watch them play. Luke, have you ever been a part of a defense here where you're kind of getting contributions from everyone, every mm -hmm. it seems like, I mean, 13 tackles for loss, it was pretty spread out. Yeah, no, it's it, it seems like everybody's kind of, Everybody's kind of eating right now, which is which is really fun to see. It's not just one guy; it's a whole group collective. Like we have James step up first game, and he gets you know sack and a half or whatever, whatever it was. Like it was it was just really fun to see um, kind of everybody, the whole collective unit, just playing at a high level and making plays. This is kind of going back to you. You weren't on the road trip in Illinois, right? So, mm -mm. Well, I mean, what was it like? What are you like watching a game? Yeah, uh, yeah. I went to went to a buddy's house to watch it in Omaha. Um, and it was a little different. Like I think it was my third road trip since I've been here where I wasn't traveling. So it was definitely foreign to me, and the first one since COVID year. So it was definitely really foreign to me, not like traveling with the team, not being there, not watching it, and just watching it on the TV. Like it was just it was a weird feeling, and I didn't, <laughs> I really didn't like it that much. But it was a uh, part of it. Um, but yeah, it was uh, definitely a weird feeling not being there and not being on the road trip with everybody. How weird was it to watch the Michigan game on TV considering that was cute? Yeah, that one was just like, I was kind of more worried about my arm than anything. I was more worried about my health than uh, football at that moment. But it, yeah, it was still like, it was that, that whole day was just a whole mess. So I wasn't, football was kind of a little lower on the worry list on that day especially. Uh, it was sore for my arm was sore for a couple days, like probably a week or two after like I got off the like after I was released from the hospital, basically, it was sore for a couple days. But other than that, there was no lingering effects or anything like I never had a fever, never had like never was sick. I was just my arm was just really sore. It was a weird deal.
What have you seen from Purdue's offense? I, I know the running back mm -hmm. is the same as a year ago. Yep. Uh, from quarterback. What have you seen from them? Yeah, they just do a bunch of stuff. They're they're physical. They have a good O line. They have good skills. Like they're they're a good team. They have a good quarterback. Um, and their running backs are obviously they uh, forty five and three. Like they're they're pretty good players, dude. So uh, yeah, it's uh, we're gonna have a big task ahead of us, but we're excited for it. Excited for the challenge because they bring so many different things to uh, the table. They they run it well. They pat. They do a lot. All sorts of different things passing game wise. So uh, it'll be a good challenge for us. Which rules brought up a few times since Saturday, uh, the tackles that Omar made and Malcolm on the plays where they actually mm -hmm. had a nice explosive on yeah. for to save a touchdown, and he called them kind of winning plays. Like, how, how much is that stress, and how, how much does it say about this defense that you have guys that don't give up on plays like that? There? No, those two plays were in, incredible to watch. Like, they were just – they just hawked him down. Like, that speaks for their athleticism and then their heart, too. Like, they could have very easily just kind of jogged off or, like, kind of half ran after him, but they, like, hawked him down. So it was really, really cool to watch, and that gave us another chance on defense to save points. It saved eight points over those two plays, and we won by eight points. So, um, yeah, those are those are game-winning plays. Those are plays, like, uh, those are plays that we need to make and will continue to make going forward.